guys, all right, 46 here. Welcome yourselves back to Ride 3 on the Xbox One X. Let's continue with career mode. And today's category we're going for is Sport Tourers. So not even attempted any races in this category yet. So uh, we got five to do. And the first one is at the Snake. And I have bought a new bike. And we are going to be using the Kawasaki ZZR 1400. So this is the bad boy we're going to be using. Eventually the uh, Suzuki Hayabusa will be in the game, but uh, waiting for the DLC for that. But we will be using this Kawasaki in the meantime. It's going to be a, a bit of a handful, I'm guessing, because uh, it's a powerful old bike. So, yeah, there's all the description parts. If you want to read them, just pause the video. So here we go, the snake with our Kawasaki all the um, difficulty settings and that as they should be so let's get on with it I'm expecting this to wheelie like a madman actually complete opposite it doesn't okay so it actually gets off the line pretty well now we are going to be up against some uh, Ducati Super Sports and uh, they're very slow in comparison so we're already up to third Bit of a gap to second, but uh, I'll do my best to catch up to them. I think those are both on the Kawasaki's as well. I did fully upgrade the Ducati just to uh, compare the, the stats of the bikes when they're fully upgraded. And yeah, the Kawasaki really outweighs the, uh, the Ducati in this category. And we're in the lead, so we've taken the lead, managed to get it stopped. Even with traction control turned off, I was expecting this to be sliding and trying to high side me out of every corner, but tell you what, feels alright. Feels alright indeed. Definitely feels quite weighty, especially when you're trying to get it stopped, it does move around a bit, but I mean handling wise and power wise it's pretty good. And that power doesn't seem too extreme where it's uncontrollable. Seems pretty good to me. 0.6 of a second lead at the moment. Now we're going to have a test coming up now because we've got a uh, side to side. Lots of different little corners coming up. So yeah, can't go flat out through these. Can't get the bike turned in enough to be able to go flat out through that. So yeah, but other than that, it actually feels pretty good. First impressions of this bike. And it is a very twisty track that we're on as well, so definitely uh, quite a good little um, little place to test this bike out. And we're winning. We've got a bit of a lead, so try and maintain that if we can. So yeah, this bike is fully upgraded. And it's a bit of an animal, a bit of a beast. Got to go a little bit careful on the brakes, but other than that, it just feels feels pretty damn good. It handles pretty well. Like I said, it does feel weighty, which definitely shows when you put the brakes on when you're trying to uh, get it stopped quite quickly for slow corners. But nah, it feels good. It's even first gear coming out of corners. The rear's not really spinning up, which is quite nice. Even some less powerful bikes in this uh, spin up quite quite badly in first gear coming out of corners, but nah, feels alright. My expectations were, well, going to be completely different. I was expecting a completely different animal, but it's definitely very manageable. I mean, we haven't really pulled away a huge amount from second place. Gone in a bit too hot there, almost on the dirt. That lost us a bit of time. Now the next corner is going to be quite an interesting one. Trying to get the bike stopped ready for the hairpin. No, that was fine. Maybe a bit later next time. Okay, there we go. There's one lap done with the Kawasaki. We've only got 0.7 of a second lead. So we can't really relax yet. And in fact, that gap looks like it's coming down. It's probably less than half a second at the moment. 
get ready to go into the first tunnel. Yeah, we're really not pulling away now. Through tunnel two, second tunnel. Okay, we pulled away a bit now. So 1.1 has gone back up to. This is where we got the lead last time. I got him way too hot though. Can we get it stopped? We have got it stopped in time. But yeah, went in way too hot then. I'm actually quite liking this bike actually. So I'm trying to unlock the Kawasaki H2 and I basically need to unlock some other bikes so that I can go back into a category we've already done most of the races apart from two because there's two bikes I haven't unlocked and uh, I'm pretty sure doing this category unlocks one of them and then we just got to unlock another bike so that we can do the other event and then we can finally unlock the Kawasaki H2 and then go and do the Kawasaki H2 events. So there's a lot of unlocking to do. But um, we are slowly but surely uh, ticking off all of the, the different categories and events in career mode. Now I haven't gone back into the history and evolution of the Yamaha yet because I was going to do that, the Yamaha R1. But I uh, got really frustrated with the first race at Sugo and uh, kind of thought I'm going to leave that for a bit and uh, come back to it a bit later. So... Yeah, I mean, we will be having another update come out when the next paid DLC is due out. So I'm hoping they've kind of fixed that, but we'll have to wait and see. Because the reason that one's really difficult is because, like most of the others, you're pretty much the only person on the actual bike that the, the whole category is about. Which I've always found a bit strange, because the first couple of categories... Um, everyone was pretty much on the same bike and then as soon as we went up to the next one it all kind of changed and the AI were on more powerful bikes I was like how how is that fair so yeah plus at Sugo as well the the AI are really strong but the fact that they're really strong at, at Sugo and they've got more powerful bikes just was, I was getting pretty frustrated with it so I'm hoping that is something they can fix but Time will tell, so I am leaving that one until the next update. It is something I have um, moaned to Milestone about. So I'm hoping they've taken that on board and kind of fixed that. But who knows? We won't find out to the next update. But yeah, so that's kind of the plan. Going to just try and tick off as many of the uh, different categories as we can in career mode. Um... So we'll be continuing Monster Energy Supercross 2. So I'm kind of uh, alternating between the two day by day. Um, yeah, so still got... Oh, guys, like really close behind. So we might actually lose the lead here for a second. We have momentarily we lost the lead there. So he is right on us again. But yeah, we've still got loads to do in, in Ride 3, so I didn't need to worry about uh, me stopping those videos at any time at the moment. And I'm hoping by the time we've uh, finished all of the events in Ride 3, I mean, there's still all the DLC events to do as well. I'm saving them for when we've finished all the, uh, the regular career events. Then I'll go on to doing the DLC ones. And there's going to be a fair few amount of them to do. Um, I mean, there's quite a lot to do already, so yeah, so much to do, so I'm hoping that will take us up to, well, I don't know actually, will it take us up to when MotoGP 19 comes out, which is around June? Maybe, who knows? There's some other stuff in the pipeline anyway, so we've uh, got plenty of content for the channel. And uh, we've pulled away, thankfully, 2.6 seconds. This has felt like my best lap so far at the moment. Yeah, still got loads of stuff to do on my three, so that's fine. And of course, don't forget, 
if you are going to submit your livery for tomorrow's video, at the moment I don't actually have enough people who have submitted. The category is bad liveries, the worst livery you can come up with. Um, so yeah, please send them in because time is ticking away. So I need them by the end of today or early morning tomorrow at the latest. Hopefully we'll have enough to do a video because at the moment as it stands I think I've only got about three or four. And they are some really good bad liveries if you uh, get what I mean. Some of them you just look at and you think Jesus. Yeah, I thought, I thought more people would be interested in doing that one because it's quite an easy one to do because you haven't really got to put any effort into it. Just try and make a really, really bad livery. But at the same time, it might be completely against some people because they like creating like masterpieces and that and it's kind of the complete opposite. But I'm hoping that enough people do submit because it's going to be quite an interesting one to do. So we're finally getting towards the end of the third and final lap. Just got a couple corners left to go and then we will be done. We've got a nice lead now so I don't think we have to worry about losing the lead anymore. Let's get it stopped for this corner and then that was much better. Just uh, got to get it stopped in time for the hairpin and then it'll be the run to the line and we will be done. Yeah, we're going to win this one. Do a nice wheelie to the line. Yeah, there we go. Done. That was a good little race. Didn't uh, feel 100% comfortable with our lead because uh, it kept coming down. But we got there in the end. A lot of Kawasaki's in that one. So, next one, Nürburgring. Point to point. So, point to point race at the Nürburgring. Nord Slifer. Right, what can we do here? This might be quite a difficult one because like I said in the, uh, the previous race, it's quite, it feels like quite a weighty bike so going from side to side isn't that quick. But we are already up to third. Again, two Kawasaki's in the lead in second place. So I'm going to have to try my best to try and go with these guys. Got the first of the carousels coming up. We're not that far behind, but I think we're going to get to that corner where the AI go really, really slow around because they're worried about losing the front. So, of course, I won't be able to go in there as quick as I'd like to because I'll probably lose the front as well. But I can definitely go quicker than the AI through that corner, and uh, they almost virtually stop through it. So. Even if I'm not in front of them by then, we will definitely be in the lead by the time we come out of that corner. We have closed in a little bit, so that's promising. Everyone kicking up a bit of dirt at the moment. So we go. Oh, here comes the corner. Through we go. Yeah. They virtually stop. Look at how much we've extended the lead as well. Wow. Crazy. They need to try and uh, fix that corner as well for the AI. They don't need to slow down that much for that corner. They need to slow down a little bit, but not virtually stop, which is pretty much what they do. Oh, that's that one up. Gotta worry a little bit if they're gonna catch back up. So 1.9 as it stands. Oh. That wasn't so good through there. Came off the throttle a bit too much. That was a bit too early on the brakes. Way too early on the brakes. He's pretty much demolished that gap now. We're coming up to the second carousel. So the finish line is going to be on the very long straight. Wheelie, don't want to be doing that. He is right on us. Oh, I didn't need that tap, thank you. Go through here. No, stop tapping me. 
I think we might just get to the line first. I think we will. He kept trying to ride through me rather than go around, but that gave us the win. Okay, two out of two so far. On to the next one. Again, top three Kawasaki's. So the next race, Tenerife. I, I don't like this circuit. Out of the two Tenerifes, this is the worst one. Okay, let's try and get this one over and done with. Here we go. I'm going to do my best. But yeah, I really do not like this track. Saying that, we are up to second. So, pretty decent start. We had a good first corner. A bit too wide, a bit too wide, way too wide. Closing on the leader a little bit, but he'll probably try and pull away now. He's not. They usually pull away a little bit through that. We're almost right on the back of him. Uh oh. A bit too slow through that. That lost us the momentum down this part. Now this is going to be interesting because you have to be real precise through here. And we're faster. We are much faster than the AI through there. It's just going to... Oh, that almost went wrong. Rear end properly kicked out then. That's probably the biggest moment I've had on this bike. Oh, that rear really kicked out then. Yeah, what I was going to say, going through that really fast uh, section, using this bike where it's quite uh, slow going from side to side, it's uh, you can't really go through there flat out like you can with other bikes. That's not gone well. Nearly into the barriers. He's caught us back up because of that. He's right behind. Final corner, which is an annoying corner, but we got through there fine. Start finish line is there, but we need to break before that to get ready for turn one. He's right there still, so we've not really pulled away much. Wide again, wide again, way too wide, but he wasn't close enough to come through. Okay, let's try and get a good run through this right-hand kink. No, too wide. Way too wide. That's killed our run and probably lost us the lead because he is right on us again. There we... Oh, no. He tried to go right through me again. And then we start pulling away through this section. All right. That was a bit better on the brakes that time. Didn't almost lose the rear. Point three. I'm expecting that to go down through the next couple of corners. We've gone way too wide. Oh, almost on the dirt. We got our throttle a little bit earlier then. 1.4. Final corner, and then we've got one lap to go. That was a better final corner. Right, just got to remember to get it stopped before the line for turn one. Next lap, we won't have to worry about breaking before the line because we'll be done. So we've actually got ourselves quite a nice lead. Like I said, I do not like this circuit. The other one is okay, the other Tenerife circuit, but again, still not that great. But definitely better than this version. But on this Kawasaki, it's uh, getting a bit too wide through there. 1.3, that's going to come down a bit. And we should re-extend that as we get towards the bottom of this little hill. 
And Kawasaki's actually felt pretty good around here, apart from that one massive moment we had with the rear into this corner. Other than that, it's, it's behaved itself. So we should, 1.8, yeah, we should have this. We should definitely have this one. Can't see in this one going wrong now. Oh, well, I say that, almost straight into the barrier. Wow. <laughs> right, one corner left to go. We've got this now. 1.5. Oh, almost on the dirt again. Here comes the line. Not going to break before it this time. Done. Done. So, glad we've done that one. Wasn't as difficult as I expected, actually, that one. So the next race, Guard Lake. This is a time trial. And then we got a uh, drag race to do. So penultimate event, time trial, 235.5. Okay, that might be a bit tricky. I'm not sure. I'm trying to think what, what other lap times I've done around here, but I can't really remember. Okay, well, let's see what we can do then. 235.5. Let's go. Oh, it's getting a bit lively on the brakes. A bit wide as well. Okay, into the corner of many waterfalls. Out we come. And we start going downhill. Yeah, I have no idea how we're going to be able to do this one. It might be quite a difficult time to hit that one actually. I'm not sure. Wheelie. Don't want to be doing that too often. That corner is horrible but we got through there fine because where it dips you can lose it on the front really easily. Luckily we didn't. Come on. next corner is the AI's most favourite corner of the track because most of them plough into that inside wall. Surprised that wall's still there actually, the amount of bikes that have gone into it. Okay. I think this one might be quite tight. We've got just over a minute left. Got some tricky corners coming up as well. Come on. I'm not sure if we're going to do this. It's coming up to two minutes. So we got 35 and a half seconds to get to the line. Less than that now. Gonna be close. Got a couple corners left to go. Oh, 15 seconds. And the line is quite far down this part as well. It is gonna be close. Coming up to 30. 31, 32. Oh, 32. Okay, 32, 1. We done. So we done it. I, I wasn't worried. I wasn't panicking at all. Three stars. So, final race. Route 66 drag race. Alright, well. As long as we get in the top two, the first one is going to be a bit of a benchmarker. See what we can do. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> wow. 
Not the best of starts. We're still in second. And yeah, we are going to get second because we're pulling away quite dramatically from the other two. So at least we're going to go through. So I need to go more careful on the start next time. That was a horrendous start. Massive wheelie. Alright, so through to the final. Alright, so we need to go careful off the line. That's the biggest wheelie I've pulled with that bike off the line in any of the events we've done so far. Here we go. When it starts coming, yeah, that, that was a better start. That was a much better start. And we're in the lead. We're in the lead just. So hopefully we will be able to win this one. I think we will. I think we're just going to edge it. We're just edging away from them as well. So we are going to win. We won that one then. So we got uh, second in the first round, but we won overall because I sorted my start out. We, we didn't pull a massive wheelie that time. So yeah, nice one. That is that event done now. And this is our new bike, our new Yamaha, our very retro Yamaha. But yeah, that is that, uh, that category done now. So hopefully we can uh, go towards unlocking the Kawasaki H2 and eventually we'll get to do the Kawasaki H2 um, events, which I'm looking forward to. But anyway, guys, that is it from me. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content and I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.